One of the other common functions that um, gets asked about in using Mark Edit is translating delimited text files into Mark. A number of times what users get is they get limited text files either in Excel or in comma delimited or tab delimited format that they want to be able to load into their ILS system and so they need to translate this data into Mark records. Mark Edit has a handy dandy function with a little uh, graphical user interface that can be used to translate data um, from Excel, Access, Tab Delimit, or Comma Delimited files into Mark. And it's called the Delimited Text Wizard. Let's go ahead and see how this works. Um, we open up Mark Edit. Underneath Add Ins, we'll find this thing called the Delimited Text Translator. And you'll get a, a window here, and it's basically a wizard like program that kind of guides you through the process. Um, we select the file that we want to translate. Um, these are the file types down here, text, Excel, um, accessor, or all files. Um, I'm going to pick an Excel file. So I've got demo book. Um, we need to set an output file. So I'm going to call it you know, um, Excel. We have to give it, if we're dealing with Excel or if we're dealing with an access file, we have to give it the table or the sheet name. So sheet 1 is the table and we can tell it whether or not the data included is Unicode or not. And I'm, if it's in Excel, it's probably going to be Unicode. So I'm just going to say it is. Click on Next. And what it does is it quickly reads the files and it breaks them down so that we can see what, what we have here. Uh, from here, the process is actually pretty easy. What we're going to do is we're going to select the fields and we're going to map them. And so here we're going to map this to um, a uh, 100 field and then we'll tell it to apply. We'll tell it to apply that and we'll give it some indicators. Um, the second field, we're going to make that a 245, so field A, and we're going to give it an indicator, and we can give it terminal punctuation if we need to. Uh, and then we have the last field here, and we're going to map that. give it some punctuation. Alright, now once we've got things mapped, there's a couple things we can do here. Um, let's say, for example, we want, we had multiple 245 fields, let's say we, or let's say multiple 260 fields, let's say we had what should be mapped to a subfield A and a subfield C. Mark Edit has the ability to join these fields together. Um, you'd select the fields, right click, and then you get the ability to delete the items, to edit item, or to join the items. And if you join the item, it basically tells Mark Edit that these items should be read together. So they're all part of the same field. Um, you can edit the item just by selecting an element and then right clicking on it and it'll let you edit it directly or you can delete the item. Once you set your arguments, you can also save this as a template. So if I check this, it'll let me save it. So the next time I worked on it, I wouldn't have to define these arguments. I could just load the template directly. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and process this file. So when I'm done setting up my record, I go ahead and just tell it to process the file. And Mark Edit will tell you where the file's been saved to. And it's been saved to my desktop under Excel.Mark. Uh, I close this. I'm just going to go ahead and look at this file real quick. Um, oops. I'm going to go ahead and open this file and look at it in the editor. And here it is. And we can see the record that's been generated. It's a very brief record. The three fields that I've defined, plus a generic LDR and a generic 008 statement. Um, the LDR and the 008 statement can be modified in the editor, but those modifications are going to be global to the entire record set. So in a lot of a lot of times it's easier if you have uh, finite uh, uh, edits that need to be done uh, that can be done globally, they can be done during you know, the wizard process, but if they need to be done on a record by record basis, then they probably should be done in the mark editor. Um, but that's basically the process, and it's uh, uh, I think it's fairly straightforward.